Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of Awesome Knots. Yes, we are back here again already, so what do we got going on today? Well, today we're going to be taking out the Admiral, Admiral Swiggins, reporting for duty, sir. So we're going to go take a look at him, and then we'll see what we're going to be going on with. So jump into a practice game here so we can take a look at his gear, Admiral Swiggins. Now, I really like Admiral Swiggins. Um... When I first saw him in the game, I wasn't super convinced he was that useful, especially because none of the characters I'd seen playing him, none of the people I'd ever seen playing him, were particularly powerful with him. But, I've been experimenting with him myself, and I can definitely see he is a strong contender now. We'll see if we can uh, show that off here, because like I said, sometimes it's hard, but we will do our best. He's a great character, though. I love his voice. I love his uh, his animations and game. He is He's a ton of fun. So, what do we got going on here with Swiggins? Well, we have... A very interesting kind of thing going on here. All of his abilities are largely based around this anchor. He has three of them, like everybody else, his auto attack, two special abilities, and his passive abilities. We're going to go for his first main ability here, the anchor hook ability, which is basically a grapple shot that pulls you towards your target. Very similar to Leon's tongue, except instead of pulling the target to you, you go to them. The way it works is you just click and it fires out your anchor to a set distance. If it connects to a wall or an awesome knot, you fly towards them. Very useful. We have the Flying Fish Compass upgrade here, which reduces the cooldown for it by two seconds, making it only a five second cooldown, which is really nice. The Blue Heart Metal, which increases the damage you do on impact, or the damage you do if you're firing it through and back again through creeps, which is also useful. The Mobile Periscope, which increases the range, which is always a, a big thing for me on those leashing attacks. Things like Leon's Tongue and the Anchor, I always need that extra range, otherwise I constantly underestimate how far I need to fire. The Treasure Lottery map is pretty cool, it gives your whole team an additional 15 solar whenever you kill someone with it, but specifically with the hook. The Kraken Statue gives people an additional bit of stun when you hit them with it, and the Ancient Octant gives an explosion in the area around where you hit your Anchor, and that does the... Uh, the damage number, not the flying damage number. So it does like the 25 rather than the 10. So that's kind of cool. I like to take the Flying Fish Compass, the Blue Heart Metal, and the Mobile Periscope so I can hit more often, hit a longer range, and hit harder. Although, that's of course up for debate. The next ability is the Drop Anchor. This one is an interesting one because it kind of... it really drastically changes how Swiggins plays. When Swiggins drops his anchor, his auto attack stops being a short range swing with the anchor and goes into a long range ink shot. It does a bit less damage, more or less the same DPS, it's only about 2 DPS damage per second lower, but uh, it's very different. Anyway, if you drop the anchor, you can pin someone to place with it, and they get stuck within a fairly large range around where the anchor is actually situated. You do have to actually get it pretty close to them for it to work though. It's a very interesting ability, you can leash people in places they can't get away from, and if you have allies nearby, you can definitely kill people with it. Bovinian Skimmed Milk here means you move faster when you've launched your anchor away. Palladium Teabag Chain makes the chain last for longer, which is a very useful thing for killing people. Alien Sweetener means that the anchor itself has higher health, because if people destroy the anchor, then they can get away easily. This makes that a lot harder to do. The Pneumatic Spoon here does up to 30 damage when the uh, chain times out and breaks. I'm not a big fan of that one, I prefer Magnetic Anchor, which just does damage over time, because if people keep destroying your anchor, you're not going to get that break effect, I don't think, so I just go with the Magnetic Anchor. I'm experimenting between the two either way. And Double Glazed Royal Porcelain means you get health back when you pick your anchor back up again, which is not bad, but I generally let my anchor die, so that doesn't do much for me. I like to go for the health and duration, as well as the damage over time effect. Now, the auto attack here is where you can ravage people, absolutely ravage them. The bag of gravel here is ridiculous. This puts your anchor damage up to 20, so it's a 20 piercing damage strike that's ridiculously good, and it bumps your uh, ink damage also by 6, putting you up at 13 on that rapid fire ink, so that's pretty powerful. You've also got krill biscuits here, which increase your mask max health while holding your anchor. That's pretty nice, especially in the late game when you need more health anyway. The Aquarium Pump here gives you faster attack speed, so by combining these two you can deal some serious damage early game. The Knot Seaweed here gives you a blind to your ink, but it's a very, very short blind. I'm not a big fan of that one. The Royal Toy Castle here gives you a damage reducing shield when you've launched your anchor away, which is pretty useful, but I like to have these ones instead, because this one gives you more health while you are using your anchor, and I tend not to use the drop anchor so much. The Pool Boy here gives you double damage when you're switching weapons, but I find that that's uh, a little bit less reliable than the damage you can get from other sources. And your auto, uh, rather, what am I trying to say here, passive abilities, you can get yourself your health, but I prefer to go for the regeneration, because with a combination of this additional health and the health you just get over time, having this additional regeneration can keep you in the lane a lot longer. 
The Space Air Max is definitely useful because I find that the movement speed on a close combat hero is always important. And the Solar Tree, as always, because getting free money is always good, especially because it costs so little. Now, the Piggy Bank, no, I'm not a big fan of that one. And the Baby Curry Mammoth, I don't really feel we need that here. But, but with the combination of this, basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to hook into people, smash them around with the anchor, and then hook back towards them as they try and run away. If we need to, we can anchor them in place and let our allies beat them up. We can do a bunch of interesting things of that kind of thing. By anchoring them nearby, you can get a lot of support help. But it's a very interesting hero. We're going to see how it works. We're going to jump into an actual game and see if we can test our luck here with the Admiral. Admiral Swiggins. Whew. So I'm going to do that, and I'll see you in just one second. All right, so here we are with Swiggins in a actual battle. Let's start this up here and see what we're waiting on. If we're waiting on anything, we will of course find out momentarily. Looks like we are. The host is still selecting their loadout. So Swiggins, like I've said, is not one of my more played characters. It'll be a little bit interesting experimenting with them. I haven't seen a whole lot of super successful Swiggins players yet, but it seems like he's a very interesting and versatile character. So we'll try out our build on him see how it works for us and uh, we'll be able to go from there he's fun to play though for sure well he's uh, he's definitely all about getting up close and personal and punching your opponents to death which is kind of cool getting to them and then preventing them from running away is also a pretty fun mechanic so we'll see how it works out we have two people left to pick their loadouts we'll find out what map we're on now if we're on Aegion our jumping height is a little bit irritating for that area we have a bit of a hard time getting around but we'll wait and see what happens most of the other levels, I think, are better for him, though, because of the fact that it's harder to get uh, stuck like that. Although there's some hilarious things you can do with Ag uh, the Agrion jump pads and uh, swiggins. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So, looks like these people are taking their time picking their loadouts. Oh, well. Hopefully we have some good teammates, too, because one of the great things about swiggins is his ability to pin people in place makes it really easy for your teammates to also help kill them. If you're on your own, it's not bad, but it's a lot better when you have the allies to help you out. So, there we go. One last person to level up here. Whew, rather to pick their gear and we can get started. This might be a, a bit of a fiasco, but we'll do our best to avoid that if at all possible. And we'll see what happens. Okay. Ten seconds left. Looks like they might not get a chance to pick if they're going so slow. Oh well. Oh well. Alright. Here we go regardless. Drop it in. It's Agrion. That's okay. At least it's not AI 404. All right. Pick up some of the solar on the way down. Ooh, I'm not very good at this. There we go. Good enough. Let us get over to the shop. We're gonna buy ourselves our solar tree. We're gonna buy ourselves the anchor hook, and we're gonna go from there. All right. Whee! I like Swiggins. I like his voice. I like his his animation. He's a pretty great little character. I should have gone and grabbed that. That's okay. We'll let Leon get it. Oh, I missed that. That was terrible. We have a Genji on the other team and a Vinny. Oh, come on. These jumps are irritating. Not very good for me. Alright, looks like we're already clearing out all the health bots, which is fine. Quite happy to do that. Get ourselves some extra solar. I'd love to attack one of these people, but I cannot do it by myself. We can, however, drop down here and help. Ah! Oh, Yuri! Oh, Ayla got it. That's good enough. Alright, we're going to drop down to the bottom. And make sure that they cannot catch up. Go further away. Further away. Nope, okay. Looks like she got lucky there. <laughs> That's cool. Very interesting. If you try and grab Genji, it actually pulls Genji to you if he manages to cocoon you. Very interesting. Alright, we're going to push up to the top here and harass that blowfish. Doesn't look like he wants anything to do with us, so we're going to help Leon push this lane, because it looks like he's over here. We might be able to kill him here, actually. Oh, no, not quite. That would have been awesome if we had managed it. Looks like Yuri's going to go invisible. I can't get up. There we go. We're going to grab ourselves the invisibility, just to make sure nobody else has it. And I was going to say we can kill the blowfish, but I don't think that's going to work. That could have been death right there. Whew. Got to watch out right now. If we can... Whoa, goodness. If we can get ourselves some health, I'd love to. I don't really want to hang around here so low. So we're going to waste the invisibility and just go back to base. Okay. We're going to buy ourselves the anchor hook. And after this, we're going to be going into straight up upgrades. Namely, for our base attack. Now we have the versatility to use our other abilities. We want to be able to make them be effective. One of the great things about our auto attack is it is very good at base for clearing out the baddies. Oop, that was a terrible miss. Oh, well. 
Ah, well. You can't hit them all. We got a Leon on the team as well, so that's interesting. They're all just sitting here. If we could have... Oh, problem is those mines on the floor. If we try and grab him, it'll drag us right through them. Oh, Swiggins, your jump height is terrible for this map. There we go. Okay. We can go up to the top and help out up there. Oh, no, we're going to grab that for sure. Thank you. Head up to the top here. I can't see, which means the blinded icon is over my head. No, thank you. It looks like stuff is happening. I can't see anything, though. Hmm. I wish I could contribute a little bit easier here, but it's quite hard when I can't see what's going on. And now we can pin him in this hallway, so we can't get out this way, which means Leon is going to have to try and pin him in, but it looks like that didn't happen. Okay, that's fine. We'll go up to the top here, if we can actually manage to get up. Man, this is an annoying area for Swiggins. You just do not have the right heights for anything. Alright. Well, we'll come grab the health. We might go back and buy ourselves some upgrades, but... Ah, terrible aim. It's just like my problem with Leon. I have a hard time aiming those abilities. And now they're all down there, eh? Oh, that was interesting. Apparently you cannot grab yourself down through the uh, jump pad. Either that or I hit the wall, which is definitely a possibility as well. Stupid mines make it so hard for me to do anything in here. Alright, looks like our Ayla is suicidal again. Yep. I mean, I get the appeal of charging when you're Ayla, but you gotta have some restraint. Alright, do some damage. Oop, missed that attack. Oh, we still managed to hook Genji, though, so that's fun. I'm actually going to go back to base now and spend some money because we need our upgrades to be underway here. Otherwise, we're not going to be dealing enough damage. So, we're going to go straight for the Bag of Gravel. Bag of Gravel gives us the damage upgrade on both versions of our auto attack. Both the uh, Homebolt Swing and the Ink attack that you get when you've launched the Anchor away. We're going to grapple in here. Oh, goodness. Ouch. He's going to lay mines on my face. I thought we had a Leon down there. I guess he ran off. Don't run in there, Ayla. No, don't. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Uh, suicidal Layla. Refrain from the suicide. Runs, Layla. There we go. That's more like it. That's using our anchor to the fullest extent, dropping it right on his face. That way he can't get away, and with Leon there, we're able to easily kill him. Alright. Do it again. Leon can come in and help kill him, although he probably went up. If I had to guess. Nope, apparently not. Apparently not. Do I have my anchor back yet? No, now I do. It's too bad. If I had the anchor there, we could have easily killed him. Oh well. Maybe next time. Oh, so, so close. So close. I have a feeling that, uh... That smoke cloud might actually blind the uh, the anchor, so you can't use it to trap people. I'm not sure. I do know you can't trap people when you have them uh, currently... Oh, come on. We should be able to kill Genji here. Ah, no. What are the words I'm trying to say? You can't trap people when they're Leon when they go cloaking. <laughs> words. Yep. I have a hard time with those. Pin him in place, deal some damage. If I had some backup here, I could have killed him. I should have killed him there anyway. That was a bad move on my part. Ah, he was dead. I had him dead to rights. I had him dead to rights. Oh well. Maybe next time. There's always next time. Can I actually get up and get some health, though? There's an invisible Genji running around, and that's fine. Genji doesn't really benefit much from being invisible because of the fact that apart from his cocoon, he doesn't really have any burst abilities that can be really bad. Although doing that can be a problem for sure. Lob that back in there, pin one of them in place. I'm actually going to go back to the store now and buy myself some upgrades. With a whole team layer like that, the anchor isn't actually that effective, but it's better than nothing. There we go. Now we're doing 20 damage a hit with our, our base attack, and that is pretty insanely high for this early in the game. Oh, I missed. All right, well, we grappled him in. We can do some damage. It looks like he has to still kill off the, uh... Oh, just missed him! That would have been such a good kill there. I'm doing a terrible job here with Swiggins. That's okay, though. Takes a bit of practice to get used to fighting against human opponents. I don't really have that practice just yet. Now he should be dead, especially since he jumped up into the jump pad. There we go. He's dead. That was nice and easy. Now we got the health, so he has to turn around and run away, of course. Hello there, you silly monkey. Thankfully, your mines get wasted. 
All right. All right. Here's how it's gonna be. You're gonna die, and I'm gonna be happy about it. He managed to drop a mine on our heads, but we got the kill anyway, so I'm okay with that. All right. Excellent. Excellent. I'd love to have my hammer back for this, because the hammer does have piercing, so it kills bot waves much easier, but apparently no such luck. I'd like to also sit around down here and get myself some health back, although I think Leon... Oop, hang on, now I can get the health. Now Leon needs some health. Our top turret is taking a beating here. If I could get up there! Ugh, I hate this jump! And now we go down to the floor to make sure we don't get double teamed. Grab the health back. Back up, do some damage, and nope, that's not gonna work. Alright. We're having a hard time here. Very hard time here. There's not a whole lot we can do. Hmm. Alright, now he's pinned. That is a dead Yuri. Excellent. Oh, get dead uh, Vinny and Spike. Yuri, Genji, and Vinny. So many E ending names. He's around here somewhere. I can bump into him all I want. Ah, oh well. Let's go help. Ouch. Help in the top lane here. Deal some damage there. Get out of the way. Oh, too slow. Launch through there. Ah, wow, I'm taking a beating. Time to go back. That was poorly managed on my part. Thankfully, we can easily get our health back. And pop up and harass Genji! Oh, just missed him there. That was too bad. That would have been awesome if we had managed it. We'll taunt him back. Ah, oh, that would have been perfect. No such luck, though. If I can get up here... Ah, oh, my goodness, I hate this map. This map is terrible for Swiggins. Terrible. Easily the worst of the possible maps. I believe he's doomed now. I'm going to take a bit of damage. Aelin might die. No, he got away by destroying the uh, the home bolt. Hmm. Our Ayla is dead again. Not great for her here. Now, we can pin him in the range. Oh. Okay, apparently Genji's cocoon stops the anchor from happening or something. I'm not sure what happened there, but the cocoon hit and then my anchor disappeared. So I'll have to experiment with that. Hmm. Either way, we're going to come back to the base. We're going to buy ourselves our boots, because we need those. And we're going to get the blue heart medal and one of our health regens, because having more regen will make us a lot more sustainable in the lane, and that'll be very helpful. Now we can pin him in here. It does! That is ridiculous! That's actually ridiculous. Genji's ability instantly kills Humboldt and stops the stun. That's ridiculously good. Now we pin him in there again, run away. Alright, that's a pain in the butt. That means if you want to effectively pin anybody with it, or at least pin any with Genji around, we have to make sure we pin and then leave. Because if we hang around here, it's not going to work. But I can lob that in and... Oh, it lands right in the mine. Okay, well, that's great. We can do some range damage now, so that's good. We can stay behind the safety of our tower and attack them here. And if we can... Oh, too bad we didn't have our mine. Oh, just missed him as well. That's too bad. That was two opportunities wasted there. Two opportunities wasted. Looks like Leon may have burned the invisibility, and that's good. We can drop down here and go harass Genji. Oh, look, this time it didn't destroy it. I'm not sure then. And he is dead. Awesome. We're going to come down here, get away, come back around. Oh, if I could have gotten Yuri as well there, that would have been great. But we do not have the cooldown reduction on our abilities yet. Hmm, that's fine. We'll make do. We shall make do. We'll pop up here. Oh, just missed again. I like having the range extender on my uh, grappling hook, but I haven't been able to afford that yet. We'll pin him in place and deal some damage before he can get away here. Because now I think Leon can come in and help make sure he dies. Yes. Excellent work, Leon. Excellent work. We'll grab this health, and if he comes down to get us, we can murder him. Oh, okay. He's going up. That's fine. We can also come up and grab him in. Pin him there. He'll fall down to the floor. He'll drop a mine to get away. Ah. No such luck. Alright. We weren't able to actually deal enough damage there. We will go invisible, though, because being able to drop an invisible uh, anchor that pins someone in place is an incredibly powerful tool, especially if used properly like so. I love when they get pinned in the jump pads like that. That's one of my favorite things on this map to do with Swiggins, which is a very short list because Swiggins is very annoying on this map, like I've said. But still, cool thing to try and do. And there goes our <laughs> Ayla again. No, Ayla, you have to stop doing these things. I can't get up there. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so many. All right, deal some damage to this guy. You're not getting away from here. Ouch, that hurt, though. All right, we're going to run away. By, oh, come on. I was going to do a fun maneuver there and hook myself to the back wall and run away that way, but no such luck. All right. 
Back up at the top, we're going to grab ourselves some upgrades. Specifically, we're going to get ourselves the other blue heart and the rest of our regeneration. Okay, now we can head back in there and try and protect our tower, which is taking a heck of a beating. And we're going to grapple ourselves into here, deal some damage, pinch some people. We might die because of this super bot, but I can't see him. There we go. All right. Well, this is a problem because not only do we have the disadvantage of having less effective teammates because Ayla has died like seven times? And then again, there Yuri has died five without killing anything. Um, the real problem here is that we don't have the pushing power we need. They still have all of their turrets. And getting around in this map is a nightmare. And I've been Genji'd. The invisible Genji attack. Alright. That's fine. I can just back up. Come back and harass you a little bit. I'm just outside the range of your auto attack, which means you can't hurt me with it. I have been effectively hit, which means I can't do a darn thing. There we go. Missed the hook. Man, my aim at the hook is terrible today. Normally not this bad. Alright, let's just tank some hits here. Okay, take out some bots. Next set of upgrades we're going for is our attack speed, which should make us much... Oh, come on! Leon got the kill, so that's good. My aim is terrible today. Terrible. Alright, let's see if we can't... I guess I should push the bottom tower where everyone else is. They've already taken it out, though. And he is pinned in place, which is good. Now we can deal some damage to him before he can get down here and get the health. Not that it really matters. And he's dead! Awesome. And there goes our Ayla again. Ayla, you need to learn some self-preservation, friend. Because you are not doing a good job in staying alive. See, now what we do is we launch this at him. He tries to run away. And we just shoot him to death. If he doesn't want to run away, that's fine. Then we just shoot him to death. Oh, he got there just in time. And now he's dead. <laughs> and now we pin him in place and use the time to run away. Awesome. We're going to go buy ourselves some upgrades here. Make ourselves a little bit harder to kill. And make our killing power a little bit better. Yoop. All right. Back at base, we can buy ourselves the attack speed upgrades, all three of them. We're definitely not very good at going back to the base with a little bit of money. We like to stay in the lane as long as we can, but I can't help it. It makes me feel like I'm wasting my time when I'm not uh, potentially helping my team out. And we gotta get down here to help out against Genji. Thankfully he missed, which means you can pin him in place. He can't go anywhere, and he is in fact dead. Awesome. I'm gonna go get the invisibility again so we can go anchor someone in place when they don't expect it. Can this person survive, whoever they are? Looks like yes. Oh, I just missed with that, too. That was a terrible miss. It means he could destroy my anchor and I don't get anything out of it. That's too bad. That was a really bad miss, too. All right, well, at least we can do some damage. Our attack speed, or rather, our damage per second is not quite as good when we can't pierce against the bots, but it's still pretty good against single targets with the, uh, the normal shot. We'll wipe out this boss wave and push this tower a little. All right. Got an attack coming in here. Did a lot of damage to him, and Leon was able to clean it up. That's excellent. Excellent indeed. We'll let him have the health if he wants it. Doesn't seem like he does, though. Alright, I don't see any of our allies around, so we're going to come back up here and check up on them. It looks like that's fine. We'll steal their... Uh, oh, hello. Alright. We'll steal their health creeps, and we'll come back and murder some more bots, because we're really good at that now. At maximum auto attack speed, we can wreck people. And we can also wreck Yuri a little bit. Looks like we got unlucky there with the timing, but that's fine. A little bit unlucky is never too bad. Now we should be able to come down here. And, oh, come on. Yeah! Wreck Genji. Perfect. Perfect. Unfortunately, Ayla died again. Again. All right, we're going to come over here. Get out of the way. Yeah. Push the top tower some more, I think, is what we need to do. Oh, hello. Apparently they think so, too. The best thing to do is to get the cooldown reduction soon, if we could, because that would make our anchor much more dangerous, because that makes it very quick to recharge. And with that fast recharge time, we can do a lot of nasty things. Here comes the monkey. We're going to grapple into him. Drop the trap. He's going to have to run down here to try and get the health. We're going to steal the health before he can. We can grapple up here and hopefully kill him before he can get away if we get our anchor back. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Just in time. Just in time. Awesome. He's going to pop his smoke under there, which is fine by me. Oh, we missed him. Missed him twice, which means he's now invisible. There he is, apparently. We got a drop on him there when he didn't <laughs> had no way of knowing he was there. So that's fun. Pop up. 
to the top floor. Jump over to him, anchor him down. He just wasted his spike dive, so he can't do it again just yet. Now we can potentially not kill him because we fell down the hole again. Okay, grab some health, come back up, try and contribute some more. Especially if we can... Ugh, get up this floor. <laughs> I hate it. It's so frustrating. Uh, let's get out of there, Ayla. Jeez. Jeez, Ayla. All right, we're going to go down and push the bottom. With our monkey friend. Hello there, monkey shines. We need some help here, though. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to quite kill him. No, oh, goodness, we're dead. Well, that was bad timing. If Ayla hadn't charged down there, they probably wouldn't have followed, and that way I might have lived. Oh, well. Oh, well. Swiggins is a pretty cool guy. Let's come into our shop here. We're going to buy ourselves the cooldown reduction, I think, and the range extension on the anchor. I like those upgrades. Makes the anchor a lot more dangerous. A lot of those shots we may have missed may have actually hit with this. So we'll see if we can be a bit more effective now. All right, grab some of this money on the way down. There we go. There's lots of it to be had. And there we go. All right, time to get down there and try and protect our tower. Oh, Ayla died as well. That's right. That means they can easily push our towers. We really need to clear them out and push. And you're dead. All right, I have no idea how much health I have, so I'm backing up. But I definitely can jump in there and murder him. I'll grab my anchor back to skip that recharge. Hop around over here. There's no health to be had, unfortunately. So I'm going to help. Oh, I need to get down there and help. Deal some damage. And run away again. And then they'll deal some more damage. And I can drop in and pin someone to the floor. Then run away. Leon should be able to kill Yuri. And if not, I'm very surprised. Huh. I would have guessed that Yuri would have died there. Oh well. I guess you can't win them all. Top turret's taking hits, but that's fine. We can help clear out the bottom turret here a little bit. There we go. Make sure there's no one hiding in there. Nope. We'll kill those health bots just for the sake of it. Apparently Genji's around here. There he is. All right, that's fine. We got to clear out these bots nice and easy. All right. Now, I do not want to run in there. Ouch, for exactly that reason. Oh, that thing's dead. Dead monkey. Awesome. Uh-oh. Dead squid. Now, I do not go the way he's expecting me to go. That's fine. I can just pop up over here and run away. <laughs> easy as pie. Help clear out these bots. And we watch out again. All right, we're down. They're down two turrets now. That's pretty good. Ayla keeps dying all the time, but we're doing pretty good. There's nothing hiding around in here. Oh, and Ayla's dead again. Fantastic. All right. Ah, oh, I missed again. I did manage to pin him in place, but that doesn't last long with Genji around, especially not with all those various kinds of area effect damage he can do that just happen naturally. All right, now we know there's a Genji around here somewhere. There he is. And. He should be a dead Genji if I can help it. And there he's a dead Genji. Leon got him. Good enough. As long as somebody got him. Now I'm going to watch out because I have very little health again. So I'm going to come grab this. Now I have my anchor back. We're good. Because the great thing about the anchor cooldown is you can use it to initiate and afterwards as well. Use it for both purposes. Because it generally recharges fast enough that you can get it again before they get away. Alright. Not the greatest thing here. Not the greatest. We want to head up to the top now and help push that top tower. Alright. Ooh. That was awesome. He died there for no good reason. I'm okay with this. We'll steal his solar and help beat on this tower a little bit. Somebody's probably going to come around and get us from behind soon. but Oh, or from the front. That's okay, though, too. We're just going to uh, grapple our way out of there. Awesome. Not sure if it's much faster than just walking, but we're going to do it that way anyway. We should really go buy some upgrades because we have like 600 solar. I also really want to be near Leon, so we're going to drop down here and hope that that's Leon. No, that's Ayla. That's okay. We want to be near Ayla, too. And... Oh. Ooh, that was close. Just about gave my position away there. And pin him to the floor, do some damage, harass him a little. Hey, Genji. And that's a dead Genji. Even if I die, that's worth it. And now what I do is I hope to get my grapple. Oh, I missed. <laughs> I was hoping to grapple over their heads, hook my way out of there, and then come back, but that didn't work. Ah well, because that way they'd be stuck in that way and I'd be well out, but no such luck. We are going to go for the Homebolt Health and Duration. There we go, now it's harder to kill the anchor, so it's harder to get away, and it lasts longer if they can't kill it. I probably should have gone for both of the healths first, or rather all three of the healths first, just to make it that little bit more durable, but that's fine. 
All right, we'll drop back in here and see what we can do. So, uh, get ourselves some solar on the drop. I'm getting a bit better at this map, but eh, the, the jumping in that center area is terrible. Okay, no money to spend because I spent it all before we dropped. Let's jump over here and drop down to there. Awesome, he wasted his first dash. There's an invisible Genji there. We just smacked him in the face. That's fine. Fine by me. You're stuck. You're not getting away this time. I might not be getting away this time, but we still murdered him. Run away, Ayla. Oh, man. She is so suicidal. All right, now we can buy ourselves the other health for Homebolt, so that'll make the anchor last longer. And we immediately need to get back over there and push their tower. Or rather, defend our tower. And that is a dead monkey, unless I'm very much mistaken. Yep, he's dead. Leon got the kill for that one. We'll pick up our anchor again. Excellent. He didn't kill our health minions on the way out, either. Strange. Alright, well, we'll kill them. Thank you very much. We're gonna go up and push the top tower while Leon pushes into their base. Because if we can clear out their top tower, we get a lot more uh, maneuverability access. Unfortunately, I'm not sure if that's gonna... Whoop, hello. If that's gonna happen. We'll grab the invisibility here and then drop down to help Leon. So the feeling... Yep, there's Genji. If we can... Yep, hello. Hook him. He is dead. He cannot kill our anchor fast enough as he used to. Get her back, please. Pick it up. Pick it up. There we go. All right. <laughs> we could have killed him there if we had been able to pick up the anchor faster. Maybe you have to attack to do that? I'm not sure. Either way, it didn't work like I expected it to. Ah, there we go. So that time I just picked it up instantly upon touching it. And now we hooked him. Didn't hook him, apparently. That's weird. I tried to. Oh, it's still on cooldown. That's why. No such luck. All right. Well, we wasted it twice there. He's going towards our base, so we're going to go down here and meet him. Hmm, no such luck there either. And he's dead. <laughs> Leon got it. Good enough. As long as somebody did. He's doing really good now, actually. Getting a lot of kills. I guess he got the damage upgrades he needed to be more effective. Ayla's trying to talk or something. Not sure what's going on there. Unfortunately, Genji protecting that tower does make it really hard for us to do much. If we drop down here, that is a dead monkey. Nicely done, Ayla. She set us up for that one. Absolutely. Can I pick this up again? Pick it up! There we go. And there are minions at our base, but that's not too big of a deal. What we need to do is just charge into their base as well. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm coming in here, trying to club on a base for a bit. We should be able to do this pretty much scot-free for now. We have a bunch of regeneration to make it easier. And very shortly they'll be respawning, so we're going to dash out of here. Oh, I missed. I missed! Really? Thankfully, he's not super fast. He can't catch me as easily. I'm going to drop down again. Oh, no! There's a Genji down here. I may die. No, I'm pretty much dead. All right. Throw the anchor back there. Oh, nicely done, Leon. You are getting all of the kills now. Murdering everybody. All right, we're going to hop back over here by ourselves a magnetic anchor. I should probably have bought Homebolt's uh, health bonus there, but maybe not. Maybe next time. Where'd my anchor go? I'm not sure where my anchor was. I don't remember throwing it away at the last second there, but whatever. Apparently didn't have it. Happens. So we're going to hop over this way and harass Genji a little bit. And there we go. I missed with the anchor, but that's fine. I can just pick it up again, and then I can hook him again in a second. Wow, he regenerates a lot of health now. All right. Can I get up here, please? I want to take out that tower. Excellent. Bots are dead. Push up the rest of the bot wave. Thankfully, our allies are down there harassing them. If I throw this in here, that will draw the turret's fire long enough that the bots will be able to get there. Good. And that's another dead Ayla. She killed herself that time. I killed the turret. Excellent. Now we have a lot more maneuverability. So let's get down there and help Leon. He's going for the kill there, I think. Oh, I just missed him. That was so close. So close. That's terrible. All right. Unfortunately, there's now a Yuri at our base and a Genji at our base. We should be able to harass... Oh, that's not a Yuri, that's a Vinny. Thankfully, Vinny should die here. Yep, and I might die here too, so I'm going to back up. Whew. Oh, nicely done, Leon. We need to push their base right now. So now I get a health boost when I'm carrying my anchor. I probably should have bought that sooner. But that's okay. I should get that back in a second or two. And then we need to push their base really hard. There we go. Look at that health. Look at that health bar. Uh-oh, that's unfortunate. Yuri came back at just the right time, apparently. Oh, ouch! Woo, that must have been how he did it. Okay, that hurt. <laughs> Ow. Thankfully, we can grab this health and immediately push back in there. But, ouch, jeez. All right. We're at max level now, so we're basically as good as we're going to get. Harass Yuri a little. 
I don't mean to actually kill him, I just want to make him be annoyed. It's annoying that when that health comes back, though, it starts empty. Hmm. We'll have to see about do something... Yeah. We already have the regeneration, so we can't do too much about that anymore, but that's okay. I need to go up there and help Ayla, though, otherwise she will die. She's committing suicide again. You have to stop doing that, Ayla. You have to stop. Uh, so much unnecessary suicide. And did they just quit? They did. Ugh. 19 unnecessary deaths and then a quit. Well done. All right, now Leon should be able to kill him before he can get away. Awesome. I love that extended health on Homebolt. So much harder to get away from. And now we need to get back to base right now. Come on, I keep aiming a little bit too high with that. Now, Leon charged back with a teleport, so we can come over here and intercept him. And I gotcha. <laughs> Even though you're invisible, I can still grab you. Alright. We have no other upgrades left to buy. We're already level 40, which is pretty ridiculous. Let's head back in there and see if we can't accomplish anything. We should be able to do something now. They're down at least one player, and I think it's just Yuri who's left at their base laying mines. And if he's just going to camp there, it's going to be boring, but it's not going to be the end of the world. Let's get back over here. Yeah, he's just camping. Alright. Well, what I'm going to do for that, then... Oh, he's getting pinned in while invisible. That's unfortunate. Come over this way. And start attacking the base from behind. And that's a dead monkey. Awesome. I'm taking a lot of damage right now, though. That's not very good. But we should be able to kill him before anything else bad really happens. And that is a victory for us, I believe. Yes. Woo, what a mess that started to be. <laughs> All right, well. Ugh. That's Admiral Swiggins for you. A powerful character. Look at the kills. We had 18 kills. Leon had 10. Of course, our Ayla had like 15 deaths, but whatever. Ugh. Yeesh. All right, so that has been Admiral Swiggins for you. If you liked the episode, this has been Vanguard of Valor playing some awesome knots for you. Don't forget to leave a like or a comment on the episode just so I know what you thought about it. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.